We are in Chiang Rai, located right here on the map. And we're headed to the village of the Long Neck Karens, uh, which you've seen in the thumbnail. You get an idea of what a Long Neck Karen is. They got those. They put those gold hoops on their necks to extend their necks uh, over time, and you know they end up having really long necks. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, I, I saw them in a National Geographic magazine, and you know it just seemed something that's so foreign to me. Um, I never thought I'd actually go to see them in person. So I was kind of excited about uh, going to see this tribe. It was pretty pricey to get in. It was 300 baht to get in. And um, to be honest, I was kind of disappointed because for that kind of money, I expected something a little more traditional. Um, but it felt like a tourist trap, to be honest with you. Which normally I wouldn't mind because it's usually like 100 baht or 20 baht to get into these places. But for 300 baht, I thought, oh, it's going to cost more to get in because they've, you know, kept it more traditional and didn't turn it into a tourist trap but you'll see when i go in there that uh it's like many places there's hawker stalls and they're all selling the same stuff Also, another thing to take note as I'm walking around there is you'll notice that not all of the necks look really long. There was a couple of them that had pretty long necks, and the one in my thumbnail, that was the longest neck I saw. But to be honest, I, I don't know. I Maybe some of them are in the process of lengthening their necks, but it kind of just looked like some of them had normal necks with some gold hoops around it. But I guess that kind of makes sense because, you know, in this day and age, uh, I don't know why you would keep that tradition going. And I didn't really spend a lot of time filming them because I, I, I really don't like something that's kind of like a human zoo, which is oh, man, it's a bit like what this felt like. So um, I kind of did a cursory pass through here. But it's interesting. It's cool to see, uh, you know, how people once lived out here, kind of. into the parking area right now so I'll just stop it right here and then head on into the village so as I'm walking into this village here I'm getting pretty excited I'm like oh wow this is uh you know they're still living this way but then as I get a little deeper I start to notice oh wait all these huts have trinkets for sale and you'll see I run into a nice nice old lady here very friendly but it's clear she's got an agenda Ah, uh, very nice. Mm, very nice. So I didn't really want to buy anything, but, you know, what could I say to her? I didn't want to be insulting. Say, hey, your products are nice. But, you know, I, I hate doing that. Uh, oh, I'll be back. Or uh, let me think about it. Uh, maybe later. Because, uh, you know, the ties all know what that is. That's, that's, that means you're not interested. And you can see here, yeah, they're just a lot of hawker stalls selling trinkets. Stuff I'm not really interested in anyways, but definitely I'm riding a motorcycle. I don't really have room for this stuff. I'm not going to ship it back, so... Um, I'm sure there's cool stuff here. I'm sure people with, uh, you know, touring the country in a minivan or something enjoy buying this kind of stuff and, you know. Maybe I'm getting a bit cynical in my old age, but I, I'm skeptical that uh, the Karens actually live here. I think they come here for work, and it's kind of a display, to be honest with you.
But coming up, you're going to see there's a, a very nice, lovely lady. She's got a pretty decent long neck, and you know, I hate, uh, I don't really want to film them like they're on display, but that's what they're here for. I just uh, wish that I could, you know, support them by buying the things that they're selling. That's how they're making their living, but again, I don't have room. But, anyways, check her out. She's got a pretty cool long neck. And so we're going to take a look at the longest neck I saw. So I'm pretty sure this is a legit long neck Karen. And there were some tourists here taking some photos. So I kind of took the opportunity to uh, zoom in and get a closer look at her without having to make her go through this twice. So, And I know that was a little rough, quick shot there. But there was a tourist there. And I didn't really want to put them in my video. So I just left the zoomed in part in. And it's just a real quick shot. But anyways, you got to see her. And you see her in the thumbnail. 73 down, 4 to go.